Hello, my name is David Barnes, and this is ET Info, where I bring you information on new and emerging technologies from IBM. In a previous video, I talked with Rod Smith, IBM Vice President of Emerging Technologies, and he told me about a new project his team is working on called Big Sheets. This video is a continuation of that discussion where Rod walks me through a business use case scenario built using Big Sheets, and it's around mergers and acquisitions. So in a previous video, Rod and I talked about Project Big Sheets, which his organization has created, and we went through a little bit of the why Big Sheets and, you know, mm -hmm. what is it. Here, though, I want to, first of all, I'll start out with that same question, 30 words or less. Okay. What is Project Big Sheets? Um, think of Project Big Sheets as an insight engine, an application, runs in the browser, for line of business, people, domain experts, to really explore data at web scale. I am really impressed that you can do that in 30 words or less because very few people can. If you want to learn more about it, again, we put another video on our IBM ET Info channel, youtube.com slash IBM ET Info. I highly recommend you look at that first because it sets up the what is big sheets. Mm -hmm. But in that video, we talked about different scenarios that your team's been working on and where this can apply. One of those I know is around mergers and acquisitions and patents, et cetera. How about if you set the stage for why you did this, and then we'll take a look at it. Okay. Well, one of the things that, that we do is in talking to customers, we, we ask them about their business problems. And, and this one came up as, as mergers and acquisitions, uh, very labor intensive, lots of attorneys going over, sifting over documents. And the question really came up from not just uh, our attorneys, actually started with a couple other companies. Um, you know, could we use Big Sheets and Hadoop to be able to go through and, and pull this in to gather it and do exploration and, on it? And uh, so that's what got us started down the path of that business pattern. Okay, and we talk about big data. IBM has about 4,000 patents a year or more. Mm -hmm. Multiply that times all of the different years. That's big data. That's big data. And okay. patents go back to the 1800s. So how about if we take a look at it? And you okay. can walk me through a little bit about what we're looking at here. So this is kind of the uh, front dashboard. You can think about a uh, professional, line of business professional, looking at um, their data from this perspective. Uh, these are worksheets that they have. And you kind of look at how they're being used from kind of bottom up. And so the bottom one is how people are uh, going off, and you can specify how you want to go off and gather the information, in this case, crawling it. Um, you would give it a URL, U.S. Patent Office. Um, you tell it how deep to go in terms of how many depths to go in, right. in terms of the, uh, searching or, or gathering. And then you send it off. And in this case, it could take, uh, this took about four hours to be able to pull the information in from 2002 to 2009. Wow. And that's a lot of information because if I look here, this is about 1.3 million documents that were returned. That's a lot of information. It's a lot of information, and uh, as it comes back as a URL, it's not very readable. And so the first thing we start to do is unpack it, uh, make it pretty, put it into more of a table or spreadsheet form so people can, can look at it and start to manipulate it at that point. Okay, because, yeah, I know the first screen it started to look as GORP. But here, what we're calling extract is really laying it out the way that I would want to work with That's it right. myself. That's so right. it's it's a little more workable for me. But these columns and rows here, I mean, what is this? This is... Well, this is where you start to see that you can, you know, in this case, we took all this information, 1.3, and we first said, well, let's go search on just IBM patents. And now what you can do is gather up through those 1.3 just the IBM patents at that point in time. And, and so as we did that, we now had IBM patents, and in this case, we also did another piece where uh, on the 1.3 million documents, each patent references other patents. So we actually teased all that out, which created something, another worksheet, another six worksheet of 6.1 million rows, and now we could start to manipulate that information. Okay, so we went from gathering it, which looked like GORP to me, mm -hmm. then we laid it out into the way that I would work as a worksheet user. We hope so. And now I'm sort of doing worksheet functions, right? I'm That's saying correct. I want to relate this to this, I want to sort this, and, and we started to look at how many times they were cited. Why is that important to me? I mean, 
There's the patent, it's got mm -hmm. value, but what about the citations? Well, the citations really, if you look at uh, page ranking, you know, how many times is a patent referenced will give you some idea of its value. It's one measure that, that uh, uh, M&A people use. There's other measures too. So in the case of what we did, we looked at uh, IBM and each patent and went through those six million rows and found out how many referenced those IBM patents. That took about 30 minutes. And then, you know, you've got huge amounts of uh, information on the rankings, but now it's not just a spreadsheet. You really want to visualize that information. Right, and so that's where the visualizers come in, that's right? right? You want to be able to quickly get insights from it. And in this case, be able to look at a patent and say, well, in this case, from, you know, looking at a tag cloud type of thing, let's quickly go through now and and uh, go look at those patents, explore them some more on what made them valuable. Because there's no way I'm going to sort through columns and rows. We're I back to being not. manually intensive. That, that's yeah, right. You hope not because you're paying <laughs> me and you don't want me to waste my time doing that. But I know that we looked at, now, let me go back and summarize. So we gathered the information, we put it in a format that I want to use it. We didn't change the data, that's right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. We just changed the way I want to work with mm -hmm. it. I start working with it like a spreadsheet, like a worksheet. Sure. I now know the patents and their citations, so I pretty much know the value of the portfolio. You have one measure of value, yes. One measure of value. Well, there's others. Right. Um, think about uh, Court of Appeals, Federal District Court. All that information is published as well. So maybe you also now, like from an IBM perspective, I've got IBM patents. I know what their value is because of their ranking. I might now want to bring in, gather up all the Court of Appeals information and look which ones were cited in legal documents. Oh, wow. So... A worksheet of big data, another worksheet of big data. I'm a business user. I'm simply using a browser to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. Underneath it, I know we're using Hadoop, which, ladies and gentlemen, we mentioned in the previous video, which is really, really powerful, but I don't have to care about that, uh, right? You don't see anything that references the underpinnings of the technology and the fact that, as you said, going through these documents by hand, um, we found, talking to attorneys, it, it takes weeks, if not a few months, to do we think we can get it down to maybe, you know, half a day. Wow, that's fantastic. Obvious business value. So I know there's a lot more to this. I'm going to bring one of your, I won't say more technical people because you can't get more technical than an IBM fellow, but I will say one of your geeks. I mean that affectionately because I have the greatest respect for them on. <laughs> we'll dig deeper into this, but let's bring this into a close and I'll make more videos like you've told me to do. And thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you again. And this video and the others, again, I'll put on youtube.com slash IBM ET info. And if you're interested in engaging with us around Project Big Sheets, you can contact our JSTART team or visit the website at ibm.com slash software slash JSTART.